Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. I am Francesca from IULM Communication School, and today we're going to present the Master in uh, Museology, New Media, and Museum Communication. And uh, it is in partnership with uh, EMA, the European Museum Academy Foundation. Um, today, today, there is with us the Scientific Director Massimo Negri and uh, René Capovin from uh, Music Foundation um, and also an alumni of the course. Uh, before starting, I kindly ask you to turn off your mic and webcams. At the end of this presentation, uh, you will write. You can write your questions in the chat, and uh, we will answer them. Thank you. Um, now we are going to to watch a short video um, present. Uh, the IUL um, Communication School. And after that, I will leave the stage to the Professor Massimo Negri. Thank you. If you dream of studying in one of the most vibrant and future-oriented cities, flagship of the purest Italian style, Milan is what you are looking for, the keystone to a successful career. Here you will find a high-level postgraduate education proposal to face the challenges in an ever-changing world. Innovation, promotion of talent, focus on the individual, international outlook and openness to the future. These are the values of Yulm Communication School, the business school of the International University of Languages and Media, Yulm. More than 30 masters and executive courses to offer the best training, four main areas of study. Media, languages and cinema, art, design, food and tourism, brand communication and sales management, social media and digital transformation. More than 10 international study tours to experience a real professional environment. 600 students per year, 80% of placements and more than 60 global partnerships. These figures guarantee a high-end and international professional background. Start your career in Milan. Choose your future. Choose Yulm. Fine, welcome to the presentation of the, our online master course in museology, new media and museum communication. It is the only online course existing, uh, I would say, in the world about this subject, which uh, aims at combining uh, some general aspect of uh, museum science, say, museology, and uh, some more specific themes related to the museum as a communicative environment. So the stress is on uh, uh, the processes of communication in the context of the museum. And of course, it's inevitable that we deal as well with new media because it is uh, the probably the most important evolutive factor of the last 20 years, the impact of new media on the uh, communication framework of museums. Uh, the, it is uh, structured uh, in uh, six uh, modules. Uh, each of them uh, requires uh, at the end an assignment uh, and uh, once uh, you pass uh, this test, uh, you are enabled to move to the following one. The structure of each module consists in two uh, video lessons, uh, tutorials, uh, uh, package of readings. Uh, the syllabus is uh, in evolution. Uh, we, we try to implement it uh, when we have good materials uh, so that you, the, the students uh, can be, say, aligned with the evolution of museological thinking of, of today. For instance, the first module has been recently um, enlarged with the introduction of a section about the methodology of exhibition developing in connection with the publication of a book uh, by the European Museum Academy Foundation, which is a foundation uh, based in The Hague, in Holland, 
I established about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, by a group of uh, experts uh, with the aim to uh, gather materials and to disseminate good practices uh, in, as far as uh, innovation in museums uh, in practices is concerned. Uh, our faculty is based on uh, uh, practitioners uh, with approved uh, experience. Most of them are, are also teaching in uh, universities or postgraduate programs in general. Uh, but what is the say the uh, main feature is that they are from different uh, national backgrounds, from different disciplinary areas as well as, which is the most important for us, uh, uh, long uh, uh, documented experience. Everything in our um, course gems from experiments and uh, long uh, uh, practice uh, work. Uh, the result uh, is uh, a package of knowledge uh, which could be used for in museums, but not only in museums, but in heritage field in general, or if you prefer, on a wider level, at a wider level, in cultural communication in general. Uh, we have today with us uh, a person, an expert, who followed uh, the first edition of the in-person course, because this course uh, was a started with a different accent and um, a different organization with Ulm and the EMA uh, ten, about 10 years ago. And then we have moved to the online uh, format. And we have with us uh, René Capovin, uh, who is now the director of the Musil Foundation, a foundation uh, specialized in industrial history and industrial archaeology, which runs uh, three museum and is now engaged especially in the creation of a large museum in the town of Brescia uh, in Lombardy. Uh, but the reason why he is here is that Musil is one of the content providers of um, our course uh, with a part on a program which I think gives you a, an idea, a clear idea of the kind of uh, materials you can find uh, in our course. And it is a program which is called Museums in Short. René, if you don't mind to make a comment about this, please. Thank you, Massimo. Yes, some comments about me and some comments about um, the master, because I am a former uh, student, so I would like to add some uh, insights uh, about uh, my experience. Um, yes, I I think that uh, this course has two main features. Uh, one, uh, we are talking about museology and museum of communication, but uh, yes, museology is also an academic discipline. These masters and this perspective is not academic. Uh, there is um, nothing bad in, in doing academic activities uh, in the sense of seminar research, articles for um, expert uh, reviews and, and so on. Uh, it is a very remarkable activity, but here um, the focus is more on the practice, is on the real work of museums, on the real work of uh, people that, ha that have to organize an exhibition to run um, a campaign for the opening of a museum, something like that. So I would say that one uh, important aspect is uh, is this, uh, with the lessons provided by the course, you will have the opportunity to be in touch with professionals. And it is not obvious, because in a lot of uh, uh, 
uh, course, masters, and, and so on. The perspective is more to be in touch with professor, with people that are used to write about museums and so on. It is, I, I repeat, an, another type of work, another perspective. Here, the focus is more on the practice, on the field of uh, practitioners, if you want. The first point. The second point, the type of museums. Uh, often, uh, in particular in Italy, uh, people consider museums like art museums. Perhaps it is not an explicit uh, assessment, but um, it is a sort of ghost <laughs> uh, idea. You have uh, this in mind. Uh, in this case, also consider the, the background of, of Massimo, but uh, also consider the network, EMA, Musil also, and, and so on. Here, the perspective is more on the museum, let's say contemporary history museum in the large sense of the term, science museum, science center, industrial museums, history museums, uh, for example, Museum of uh, Jewish uh, uh, Heritage, uh, Memorial, and so on. It is another uh, point very uh, important, I think. And also, in my experience, I could say that being in touch with uh, museum and, and experts and practitioners of this field was very useful for, for my uh, current work. Uh, what uh, I could offer uh, when I will be included in the, uh, in the lessons, my main contribute will be uh, to present and share the experience of museums in short. It is a contest dedicated to video realized by uh, museums, short video realized by museum, and it is something run by MUSI and uh, EMA. And uh, perhaps if I can share, Francesca, do I have the right to share yes, my... Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. So one moment. Yes, here uh, you can see the participants of the last edition and uh, you see uh, Casa Ballo, it is a, um, a Spanish uh, museum uh, after on a racing drone, is the Russian Railway Museums and it is a, an easy experience, you can do, you, you, you can go in this website, museum uh, in short, dot eu and uh, you have all 50 55 in this year videos uh, freely available and you can have an idea of the strategy the visual strategy and the commercial also strategy of uh, several european uh, museums uh, this is true for the uh, 2020, but you see also 20 years ago. Here is a museum. Okay? It's about uh, the behavior of people at the museum. This video was uh, shared by thousands of people. Um, I think that it was very popular in the field of practitioners of museum. I mean, people that have to cultural uh, wild piece also of and sorry Rene but we yes. can't see your screen sorry uh, we can't see your um ah. uh, okay so uh, I can tell you that, trust me, if you visit the museum, you will have a large offer of uh, hundreds of videos realized by several European museums. And it will be, let's say, the staff of my uh, of my lessons. Massimo, if, if I can uh, add some info, I will be... Uh, 
but uh, uh, only uh, René, uh, perhaps uh, you can tell us uh, a few about the Micheletti Award, which is also now another source of information for the course. Yes, uh, some words about this format, the award. Now you know, award, the idea to give a prize is something very popular also in the cultural field. But some years ago, it was not so usual. And uh, in the case of our award, the Luigi Micheletti Award, not so appealing as label, but uh, 24 years ago, the, uh, there was the idea to give a prize to the most innovative museums in the field of science, industry and contemporary history. As I told you, uh, they are uh, this family of museums is not at the center of what a person consider the, um, yes, the heart of the uh, cultural heritage and uh, uh, yes, this award was uh, an opportunity to uh, focus on this family, on this side of the cultural uh, heritage. And uh, it was also a way to uh, create a network of institutions engaged in this type of uh, cultural work. So uh, we realized a report dedicated to the first 20 years of the award, and it is a sort of a window on this type of uh, uh, heritage. Um, this award is uh, coordinated by EMA and by Massimo in, in particular. So it is another way to have an idea of what, it, what happens in this part of the museum uh, world. And uh, sometimes you have a, a very surprising uh, museums. For example, a museum uh, located in the home of uh, uh, Charlie Chaplin. When Charlie Chaplin came back from USA to Europe, he stopped in uh, Switzerland. And in that uh, house, there is a very uh, popular uh, museum dedicated to the art of uh, Charlot, <laughs> let's say. It is uh, a sort of mix between uh, theme park and uh, classical museum. It is import interesting also from this point of view. You can have also uh, perspective quite far from the classical uh, idea of what a history museum is. In, in that case, uh, uh, it is it is also a sort of game of, of discover of uh, hidden faces of these important bi biography. So uh, you have something new, something strange, and it is a, a sort of overview. Huh? Um, um, of this part of uh, heritage in which we are directly engaged. Yes, so we can offer not only some image <laughs> and about um, this uh, building, but also the impact that we had when we visited this museum and the, the relationship with people that are engaged in the life of the museum. In that case, for example, there is no a, a real scientific staff. It is, that museum is, is run by a sort of communication agency. And it, the same is true also for uh, another museum that won our prize in the last years. So it is interesting, I think, because uh, you, you can also have an, an, the idea that the museum can have a more, a more yes, scientific perspective uh, other museums, other institutions are more mixed with uh, communication area and, and so on. And in all these cases, the opportunity will be to uh, be in touch with people that work inside that uh, that institution. So, uh, as I say, I think it is the most uh, interesting 
opportunity offered by uh, these Thank you, René. Thank you. We'll have occasion to come back to these points. Thank you. And I'm asking Francesca if she can uh, show the slides about the faculty. The next one, please. Yes. So, following what uh, René told you, uh, as you can see, we have um, uh, colleagues from uh, Holland, Germany, uh, Norway, Cyprus, uh, Italy, uh, and each uh, of them uh, uh, is or was uh, uh, the director, the curator, the creator of a museum or a museum-related uh, institution or uh, program. This is also a part which is growing as long as we develop new modules. At the moment we have seven, six modules, so if we go to the following slide, please. We have six modules. Uh, the first one uh, actually consists into two parts. One is in general about the museum environment, and the second one is about uh, developing the methodology of developing exhibitions. Uh, the second one is about multimedia communication, heritage and museums, and it includes also materials from the archive of heritage in motion and the museum social contests. The third one uh, evokes, uh, puts in connection the uh, innovation which took part in the museum world in the last 20th century uh, uh, and uh, trying from these 20 years and last to try to forecast or say identify some possible lines of trends, emerging trends. Then we have a subject uh, which is uh, crucial for the survival of museums, to say the social role, role of museums going beyond the, the function of exhibiting, which is of course the core business of any museum, but uh, especially now that we have uh, we are experiencing a long period of museum without the physical space, the projection of the museum activity at the level going beyond the the audience uh, used to visit museums and trying to uh, be uh, more uh, social proactive and social influent. Uh, number five uh, is about art. It's based on the experience of one of our partners, the Leventis Foundation in Ecosia. The Leventis Foundation is a foundation which has uh, galleries in Paris, London, and in, um, as well in, uh, in Cyprus, because it is a uh, uh, Cyprus foundation, uh, where we examine a uh, concrete example of uh, the um, <coughs> positive impact of the establishing of an art gallery in uh, uh, Cyprus society and all the actions and the contribution of the Leventis Gallery towards uh, local development, plus readings and other uh, witnesses of other uh, similar experiences. And the last one uh, has a very ambitious title, is the Museum of the Future, and the stress is on participatory, the so-called participatory museum, which means uh, how to uh, to transform the museum in a platform for uh, not only for participation in terms of audience, but also in terms of contributing to the narrative of the museum, to the implementation of collections, uh, uh, and um, the, um, say the establishing or of closer links uh, between the museum and the community. The community. Having in mind that nowadays the uh, a community doesn't mean necessarily the close geographical environment around the museum that as we are experiencing now with the uh, web uh, pandemic, the um, COVID pandemic, that uh, 
uh, using the internet resources and the internet as a communication media, and uh, museums have the chance uh, to play a role at, say, the universe, planetarian level. Small or large, uh, it's the same. In some sense, uh, this uh, uh, pandemic uh, uh, very much uh, democratized the, the situation of museums. And uh, so this is a, the final module is about uh, the, the participation as a factor of uh, innovation in museum uh, planning and in museum management. Uh, at the end uh, of the uh, of the course, uh, after having passed uh, the procedure of the assignment, one assignment for each uh, modules. Uh, for the first module, you have two assignments uh, to fill up. The, uh, you are required uh, to compile a final assignment, uh, which consists in a paper uh, following the standards of an article for a. Uh, for instance, for the participation into a professional congress or for uh, the publication in a journal. And um, uh, this is the, the final test. The theme is free choice, but of course it has to be in line with the topics covered during the course of the master and it is negotiated. Um, between uh, you and uh, uh, the scientific director which is me. Uh, the great advantage of an online course is that you can organize your work uh, according to your way of life, say style of life. So <clears throat> you can enter, you can join the course whenever you want. There is not uh, a, um, a fixed deadline in the sense that if, for instance, if you have, as we had, cases of people moving from one continent to the other and so on, they needed more time, so we are flexible enough. But say that in general, uh, our students need uh, one year, one year and a half, say, that's generally two years maximum, but in general, in 18 months you can cover the whole course without uh, too much stress, say. But of course, this depends a lot on uh, the circumstances. For instance, this period has been ideal for many, for the current students. Our, uh, at the moment, we have students from most dif from different continents, China, uh, the Middle East, uh, Europe, uh, United States, South America. So it, it, it is the class, so say, is varied. We don't have uh, seminars or other similar occasions, uh, also for practical reasons. For instance, the time zone is very different. It's not easy to have students at the same time in a comfortable way in front of the computer. Uh, in the past, we used to offer some extra um, occasions, for instance, participation into events in person, like the annual conference of EMA or EMA or uh, some uh, summer schools, but unfortunately, due to the current circumstances, that's no longer possible. But when possible, uh, the, our secretary at Francesca will uh, inform you about events that online events that, for instance, that you could uh, attend and in which way or the other are related to our subject. For instance, a few weeks ago, I delivered the lecture for the at the Hellenic Institute of Cultural Diplomacy. And this was a subject, museums and cultural diplomacy and, and museums and international relationship. Relations are, is a subject that has a lot to do with our course. So, but we do hope that in the next future we could come back to a, a normal uh, way of uh, working and of living. And in this case, we will keep you informed also about this uh, special events that uh, you are uh, cordially invited to attend if uh, following the specific conditions of each of uh, them. 
but bibliography is in constant uh, development, uh, so you will find uh, you, you are not requested to buy more than a few books. The others are resources that we provide on the internet. Uh, the one book is uh, the, this one that I mentioned you before developing exhibition. We define the um, all the inform necessary information in the module. For the rest, uh, you find most of the readings available via the module or via the internet. For the moment, I think that uh, this uh, is enough. Uh, Francesca, uh, any question from the audience? Okay, so if everyone has some question, um, we can write, you can write it in uh, the chat, or otherwise you can uh, um, open your mic and ask. Where is the chat? Uh, okay, on the top, um, it's the second uh, icon. No, it's simply because I cannot see the... Ah, here it is, yes. Uh, okay, okay. So, um, Fabio is asking uh, with uh, which type of degree um, everyone can accede to the master. Well, this is a professional course, so we give a, a degree which uh, has no relationship with credits. Uh, it's, it's a vocational course, so it, it qualifies you um, uh, according, we can give you a list of the exams you passed, uh, but it doesn't give you credits, uh, although uh, uh, this depends uh, on uh, the occasions. For instance, the uh, Guild of Architects, Fabio is Italian, l'Ordine degli Architetti, in uh, some uh, uh, provinces in Italy has uh, uh, given uh, credits, uh, recognized it for the uh, yearly, um, you know, the um, the amount of hours that you have to uh, follow every year for the for so is a requirement for being uh, uh, confirmed in the position of architects in the guild, say. Uh, so, or uh, for instance, uh, we have now a former student who had the free very generous grant for the St. Edward University in the UK and uh, the, the course was the main, uh, was considered the main uh, um, element for the uh, evaluation. But it's not, uh, of course, uh, it's not uh, an academic course as uh, the three-year course uh, or uh, two years course according to the Italian system at least. It's a professional course. Okay, so we have another question from Federica. Um, if there are any um, scholarships? Um, no, we don't have uh, scholarships, but uh, the cost is uh, 2,300 euros. See, it's, it's a very competitive, say. Yes. <laughs> it is very competitive indeed. Exactly. And uh, enrollments, we remember that uh, enrollments are open. You can already apply for this course online. Um, and uh, uh, we require you to send us some documents and um, a motivational letter. And then uh, after the, the payment, there will be uh, an interview with the professor um, just to meet and know each other. Exactly. Uh, the, the only point I would like to draw your attention on is the fact that uh, 
It is a course which is useful uh, not only for people who intend to embark themselves into the museum career, strictly speaking. Uh, for instance, uh, as far as uh, the exhibition philosophy, say it's concerned, uh, you know, that this exhibition linguistic, say the way communicating by, by this uh, mass media, because exhibitions have become mass media, uh, is something which goes beyond the uh, museum, strictly speaking. Uh, the uh, communicative environment is something that you find even if you want in a commercial center, in um, uh, shopping centers or <laughs> in hotels or in restaurants or in any place where a highly intensive communication framework is required. So what you learn here, the same is also as far as uh, multimedia is uh, not from the point of view, technical point of view, but from the point of view of how to structure the contents. Uh, as it was uh, briefly explained by René, this is also an area where if you are interested in multimedia applications in cultural heritage or in general, uh, you can profit uh, of a relevant uh, amount of knowledge uh, under this respect. Last but not least, uh, it's uh, very international, as you have seen, very European, I would say, more than international in general terms. So it's a full immersion into the world of European uh, museums and heritage centers in general. Yes, and uh, there is another question um, um, about the start of the master. Um, the master, um, it is, uh, you can start the master uh, once uh, all the enrollment process uh, is over. So um, it is online, so there is no problem about uh, the start. There, is no, uh, there isn't uh, a date, so um, you can start it any time. Exactly, you can start any time once you have the, done the procedure, uh, so and the, the interview, so that uh, it uh, give you the green light, and then any time you can start. And of course, you can follow it uh, in the deep of the night, or, <laughs> or it's up to you. It's up to your style of life. Yes, and for the. Uh, the assessment of the assignment, in general, we take one week, ten days. So, if you, uh, for instance, you spend, uh, of course, it depends on the module and on your personal attitudes, say, and your personal interest and your personal background. Uh, so, you can uh, spend, use, I don't know, six weeks for one module and then uh, right when you produce your assignment in 10 days maximum. Generally, the latest uh, you receive the mark, the assessment with the marks, and you pass to the new one. So it's very individual. It's tailored on your needs. Uh, it depends very much on you. Uh, the, the, uh, it's extremely flexible under this respect. <laughs> Yes, and another question, if there is an admission test, um, not, it's not um, a test, it's more like uh, an interview, as we said before, right? There's a motivation letter, your CV, of course, and uh, we accept uh, applicants uh, with an MA, but uh, also if you have a BA and uh, you can document a practical experience, for instance, an internship in a museum, or you've been a volunteer, or you have been working, or you are working. Uh, for instance, we had uh, from time to time uh, people who entered as uh, guides in the museum and then they wanted to improve their position and their knowledge so even if they had for instance a BA in I don't know foreign languages or some history or something like that but they could produce the documentation about their practical experience in the context of the museum or a similar organization uh, 
you are accepted. Of course, the the provided that the interview clarifies uh, on both sides if this is something of your expectations. Uh, we are very honest under this respect. Uh, if they are, uh, I, when I see that the expectations are different, for instance, uh, if somebody is aiming uh, at a course of history of art, for instance, no, it's not our, it's not our business. We are dealing with museums, not with art, strictly speaking. We are also dealing with art, but in function of the management and development of museums, not in the academic sense of the term history of art. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if there are any other questions. Fine. Otherwise, um, uh, here you can find our contacts and you can write us or call us. Uh, so if you um, have any other questions about uh, this master, doubt, anything, we will answer you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, Thank you for, for being with us. Bye -bye. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.